Hey what's up YouTube, it's Steve. It's been a minute since I posted any videos to the channel and I've got a separate video coming explaining that and what's going on with the channel but for this video I wanted to address an issue for those of you that may be using a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, or an iMac. It's a certain uh, issue that I've noticed ever since uh, Maverick's update and I wanted to address that and resolve it. So stay tuned. One of the things that I was most excited about is the short amount of time that it takes to either start up a Mac or shut one down. And I noticed ever since updating my uh, iMac and my MacBook Pro, since updating them to Mavericks, I started having an issue where, well I'll just show you. Um, I go to shut down my computer or restart it and this is what I would get. Okay, the computer would shut down and restart but it wouldn't be a quick restart that we're used to where the startup screen pops up, you enter your password and it logs right in. See, as of right now, everything looks fine and I'm gonna enter my password here. And this is what happens. And so what it does here is it restarts twice. I'd have to enter my login credentials two times in order for it to start. And that's something that always bugged me. I didn't know if uh, I'd messed something up during, an inst during the installation process. Um, and it wasn't until just recently I did a little digging around and I found out what the issue is. The issue is File Vault. If you guys are familiar with uh, computer security on Apple's, then you know that File Vault. If you're using, if you're working in security or something like that, File Vault is absolutely essential. But if you're using uh, iMac, MacBook Pro, or MacBook Air at home, <clears throat> File Vault is really not all that crucial. What it does is it encrypts all of your data. And like I said, if you're using it at home, you really shouldn't have any need. To do that, you know, of course, there is a possibility of somebody breaking in your house and stealing your computer. But for the most part, you shouldn't have a need to encrypt your information. So basically, um, the solution to this problem is to d is to turn off File Vault. And the way you do that. All right, for those of you who may not know where File Vault is, Let's zoom out here a little bit. If you go under your system preferences right here, all right, once you pull up your system preferences, what you're going to do is you're going to go to security and privacy right here. You'll see File Vault, but in order to do anything, you're going to have to unlock it. Uh, I basically enabled it. I thought it would be a good idea to have. I thought it was an extra layer of security. I really didn't fully understand what it was, but I've come to understand that it's really only good if you're working in security. Otherwise, it causes a bunch of system conflict problems, uh, stuff that I really don't need to have going haywire with my computer right, <clears throat> right now. So basically, you enter your password, and you go right here and click off uh, turn off file vault. You'll get this message up here that says are you sure you want to turn it off? Uh, your Mac must be restarted to turn off file vault. So you want to select restart and turn off. What's going to happen is it's going to restart your computer and then it'll start the process of decrypting um, the information on it. Alright I'm actually working it right now on my MacBook Pro. Um, I've been working on this for a couple of days um, I don't usually leave the power on uh, for my MacBook Pro. It's got, I've got it plugged up, but I don't usually leave the power turned on overnight. So it keeps uh, readjusting. Uh, it started out down here displaying that it would have a couple days, down to a couple hours. Right now it's saying it'll take seven hours to decrypt. It'll continue to drop down. But the bottom line is, even though it takes time to decrypt, your results are instantaneous. You are now able to go back and restart your computer it only takes one time you only have to enter your login credentials once and it logs in and you're back to your what 30 45 second 
uh, startup time. All right, to give you an idea of what I mean by uh, how quick this is, or how quickly it goes back to allowing you to log in and out the way it should, we'll just do a quick example here. Hit restart. Hit restart again. Okay, there's the here's the computer just restarting. And so just like that, we're back at the login screen. I'm going to go ahead and enter my credentials. And there you are. So if any of you out there have been having this issue, I hope this works for you. Let me know down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please do hit that like button. Please do share and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Oh, by the way, like I said at the beginning of this video, I will have a new video coming out shortly after this explaining uh, what's been going on with the channel and where we're going. So be on the lookout for that, and I'll catch you later. Peace.